plus. I'm glad they got him. He has to pay. She didn't do anything to him. He took her life. She was trying to, she was going to school to be a doctor. Well, North Texas family has waited nearly two decades for this day. The last message for a killer just one hour before his scheduled execution. We want to thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. And I'm Doug Dunbar. Kenneth Williams was convicted of two murders, including the killing of a North Texas cheerleader who was in college in Arkansas. Only on CBS 11 tonight, her grandmother told our Joel Thomas, it's finally time he pays for what he did. It ain't a day that I get up, I don't think about Nikki. Lula Dickerson can hardly believe Arkansas will finally execute the man who killed her granddaughter, Dominique Hurd, 19 years ago. She has no remorse for the man who shot Hurd as she clutched a Bible in an Arkansas pasture. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, whoever might think is wrong for me saying that, but that's, that's how I feel. That's my feelings. That's how I feel about this. But he needs to pay, and I'm glad. Dickerson first faced Hurd's killer, Kenneth Williams, as he mocked her during the murder trial. Because at the trial, he was like trying to laugh at us and smirk and move around. And the, the guys would tell him, you better turn around for him. Like, you know. Dickerson has newspaper clippings and pictures to remember her granddaughter. But she also has the constant gnawing pain of grief. I would go to this house calling her name, bend over. My ex, he would tell me to stop it. You're going to make yourself sick. You know, it was just, you know, she, ooh, Lord, that was my, that was my heart. Didn't have appetite. I, Nikki, you know, all that that happened, I couldn't think about my baby and I couldn't eat. But I had to have medication for it for all that time. I'm satisfied now that I know he's going to pay for it. You know, some people say, well, the family was, well, my family suffered too. Still, all, still suffering. I mean, it doesn't go away. It just go and come. We just learn to live with it. That's about all. We just learn to live with it. Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.